Hi, I'm Londa. Subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to save yourself money and to get rid of any and all stress as you learn my how-tos for creative sewing. I have a bobbin wound and this is what's called a front loading or vertical ride bobbin system. Machines are either vertical or they're top drop-in. Top drop-in is easier. I will say that hands down, but this one is a front load like this. The bobbin has been wound properly. You can see that it's even versus uneven like this one. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you can use any bobbin in any sewing machine because that is as wrong as wrong can be. There is no such thing as a universal bobbin. I have had a conversation with the good Lord and he says in heaven when I'm working in the angels sewing room up there someday that all bobbins will be the same. But until then, bobbins are specific for their machine. Here at the studio I have several different brands of sewing machines. so. I know that this blue bobbin keeper is for the Foff machines. I know that the red bobbin keeper is for the Brother machines. But even amongst Brother, there might be two different styles of bobbins. So you have, have, have to use the right bobbin for your sewing machine. So that means you just can't go to Walmart or even a, a sewing store and just expect them to give you a bobbin that would work. Give me a call, let me know the model number and brand of your sewing machine, and I promise you, I can get you the very perfect bobbin for your sewing machine. Now, another truism is that a vertical riding bobbin has a bobbin case into which the bobbin must be put. And this bobbin has to rotate the correct way. If I put this bobbin in so that I'm looking at it, I don't hold it this way, I hold it so I'm looking at the bobbin. Right now, which way is this rotating? This is a test, clockwise or counterclockwise? This is counterclockwise. It's turning opposite of the direction that the hands go around a clock. This is wrong. This machine will not be a happy camper. If I proceed to even go ahead and put this here in the tension and everything, it's not going to work right. You're not going to get a good stitch even if it works at all. On any front load vertical riding bobbin, it must, must, must ride clockwise. Okay, it has to turn to the right. So now I know the bobbin is in the correct way and there's a little slot right here and then there's a clamp. I have to hold the bobbin with my finger and pull this thread up behind this clamp. That is the squeeze on the bobbin in the same way that this upper tension was the squeeze on the top thread. Now I have to stick this in and push until I hear it pop. On this machine I then need to hold the top thread turn the hand wheel towards me and always only turn a hand wheel towards you on a sewing machine. Don't turn it backwards. Holding this top thread, that needle goes down there and miraculously picks up that bobbin thread. You'll see a loop and you just have to pull that on through. Now you're ready to sew. Vertical load bobbin has to rotate clockwise. Now let's go to a different machine where it's a top drop-in bobbin. In addition to bobbins being wound properly, they need to not have any extraneous extra little threads hanging around there. Can you see that? This is not a happy bobbin. In addition, do you see how it's what I call a mushy bobbin? I can actually stick my nail down into this. So when this bobbin was wound, it wasn't following the correct thread path. It wasn't through this little mechanism up here that gave it the tension on the thread as it was wound. So you really, really do have to read your instruction manual in order to wind the bobbin properly. We'll talk a little bit about that more later. So I would take this thread, use it as my thread source, and then rewind a bobbin properly. The thread's expensive. I try not to throw it away. Okay, but here's a properly wound bobbin for this machine. So on drop-in bobbins, they must rotate counterclockwise. And there's even a little picture showing you that right here. So vertical, clockwise, drop in, horizontal, counterclockwise. And on this machine, all I have to do is hold my finger right here, come around like this, and just stick it up in that groove, which is a really great thing because once I take my all-important bobbin cover and put it back on and then thread my upper thread path, you'll see I don't need to pull it up. Again, it's a top drop-in bobbin, so 
Right now I have it in my hand, and if I pull the thread, which way is the bobbin rotating? It's rotating clockwise. That is wrong for a drop-in bobbin. You must turn it over so that it's unwinding from the top left so that the bobbin rotates counterclockwise. And on this machine, they even have a little picture right here. <laughs> it's pretty idiot proof. Now let me caution you about one other thing. See this little piece of plastic? And yes, it is plastic. You need to respect that. You have to be gentle as it comes around there. But do you see that the thread path is really very clearly shown to you? So it goes around there and in here. And then put that little bobbin cover back on. And on this one, we don't have to pull it up because it automatically brings that bobbin thread up. You have to see that bobbin thread going across the top. Do you see right here? Do you see how this thread is coming across the top of the bobbin? If you don't see the thread right there or even further down here on some machines, it has not been caught within the tension portions of what holds the bobbin. So that's very important to look for. If you don't see that thread, you're not going to have squeeze on the bobbin thread. So once again, vertical riding bobbins rotate clockwise. Horizontal drop-in bobbins rotate counterclockwise. That is sewing biblical truth. Join me for Creative Fashion Sewing, where you'll find oodles of inspiration and detailed how-tos. For a constant stream of sewing fun, follow me and subscribe to my social media channels.